Look at the group, man. This, you know, it's littered with first round talent. Uh, Pouncey, uh, Keith um, Kensel, um, Brandon Albert, um, uh, Thomas from Tennessee is a first rounder. Uh, Bush Rod is a former first rounder. Um, talent is not an issue for those guys. I'd imagine that continuity is. Um, I'm sure they'll make necessary adjustments. I'm sure they'll get some of those people back that I mentioned. Uh, their talented group will have our hands cut. Uh, we have our work cut out for us there. Uh, with Mike Pouncey back in the middle of that thing and, and gaining continuity in that area, uh, I'm sure they're comfortable with that. I'm sure, uh, much like the Pouncey that we have, um, he's a higher energy guy, a great communicator, and really a, a hub, if you will, of communication and stability within the group. Um, you know, they'll have the luxury of having him back in the lineup now for multiple games. We'll be challenged in terms of dealing with, with he and that group. Uh, the wide receiver group is a very talented one. Uh, Landry is a Pro Bowl caliber guy, uh, a tough guy mentally and physically, a guy that's capable of working the interior part of the field, a guy that's tough after the catch, a guy that's a tough blocker. I've uh, got a lot of respect for his talents. Uh, they picked up Kenny Stills from, from New Orleans uh, over a year or so ago. He's capable of taking the top off the coverage. He's plus 20 yards uh, per reception, big play guy. He had a big day via some big plays against us a number of years ago when he was a New Orleans Saints, a New Orleans Saint up here. Um, they drafted Parker out of Louisville in the first round last year. Uh, he's a big body guy, a guy that's 6'3 or so, um, a guy that's, that's got top end uh, speed, capable, capable of taking the top off the coverage. I know that they missed Jordan Cameron for a number of weeks. We're familiar with him, former Cleveland Brown Pro Bowl type guy. Uh, a big time pass catcher and a big time threat in the passing game. I don't know what his availability uh, is or will be. Uh, I know that we better uh, respect the potential of his presence uh, because he's, a, he's one of those matchup type guys, the type of guys that we've been talking about in recent weeks. Guys like Kelsey uh, that we saw a number of weeks ago that's a physical mis mismatch for secondary people because of stature and the athleticism mismatch at times at linebacker because of uh, his talents and his route running abilities. Um, also in that group is Deion uh, Sims, former Michigan Stater. Uh, good, tough inline blocker, a guy that needs to be contended with. Uh, they got a nice stable of backs and uh, they use quite a bit, bit of them. Uh, Arian Foster, their signature ball carrier, has missed a substantial amount of time with a soft tissue injury. Uh, as I sit here today, I don't know where that is. Uh, I know that we better prepare as if he's gonna be there and, and then adjust accordingly. He's the type of guy that can hurt you and hurt you bad in the run game, in the passing game. I think he's already got a 50-yard reception this, this year in a limited amount of exposure. Uh, but they, 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 got great, uh, they got great depth in that position. Drake, a young draft pick uh, uh, out of Alabama, uh, is a guy for all situations. Um, uh, Williams, 26, I think he's an Oklahoma guy via Canada. Um, had an explosion player two for him a week ago. Uh, Tandy Hill is their quarterback. Uh, his mobility is an issue. Uh, his long ball ability is an issue. Uh, he's a talented guy, a guy that we've seen in the past, a guy that's quite frankly created big problems for us in the past, particularly with his escapability and mobility. We gotta be smart in terms of how we pressure him and uh, the manner in which we do it to minimize escape lanes and try to keep him in the pocket. Um, they've got some schematic things that highlight uh, his mobility and running ability that we, we have to contend with, whether it's the read game or, or the option game, uh, we got to be sharp in that area. Um, so we got a lot of things, a lot of moving parts. They have some moving parts that, that we have to prepare for and potentially contend with. On the defensive side of the ball, um, it, the Dolphins are new to us, but maybe not so new schematically. Um, I know their defensive coordinator, Vance Joseph, very well. Um, he knows us very well. He's a former secondary coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. And when you look at them and how they function, uh, they function very much in the manner uh, of the Cincinnati Bengals.